All right, we'll go ahead and get started now. Welcome everyone to the um, listings modernization webinar, part of our winter release um, series um, of the big features coming out. My name is Dan and I'm on the product marketing team um, and I'll be joined in a bit by Calvin, who's a senior product manager for listings. The X season releases are always packed with new features and functionality to keep users on the cutting edge of search. And this winter 21 release is no different. Across the product suite, we have added new features that will help you drive value and improve your user experience. Um, so let's get it started and kick it off with the listings modernization webinar. So first I'll go into a summary of the new features, then Calvin will do a demo um, highlighting the new features and I'll discuss what's coming soon and we'll do a Q&A at the end. So make sure to ask your questions in the Q&A feature throughout the webinar. Yex has a network of over 200 third-party publishers to push your brand's data to. Powered by dual sync direct API integrations, you can showcase rich content like name, address, phone number, as well as images, publisher specific fields, and much more. Brands can now get an even deeper view of the integrations that surface the facts about their brand on specific publishers. The revamp listings user interface includes several major updates, so users can see specific details and settings for each publisher and ultimately act on them. When users click into the listing tab, listings tab, the first thing you'll see is the new publishers tab. The publishers tab gives users a full snapshot of all their different entities and where they're being synced. Users can see a high level view of their listing statuses, including which entities are being synced to which publishers, where they are live, processing, not synced, or opted out. We updated the UI so users can have a hub dedicated to specific publishers um, where they can see additional details on the status of their listings on a publisher by publisher basis by clicking into any publisher details page. On these publisher detail pages, users will find useful information, including an overview of important details, as well as a table of all their listings for that specific publisher. For Google My Business, Facebook, and Yelp, users can both enable or disable the sync of certain fields and change the default map knowledge graph field. And lastly, publisher alerts. Users will now always stay up to date on any major issues um, with this alerts feature. You will see, you will see uh, messages displayed in the platform when a publisher is experiencing an outage or another widespread technical problem. Um, this should drastically decrease the number of support tickets submitted. And now I'll turn it over to Calvin um, to go through a quick demo of all these different features. All right, I'm gonna talk everyone through uh, the new Publishers tab and the new All Listings tab. Uh, this is the first of many changes to modernize our listings UI. Um, we're going to be adding a bunch of great features here uh, to allow everyone to have much more transparency and control uh, over the publisher network. So to start, I'll go through the Publishers tab. Uh, here is where you can see all the places that we are syncing data to. So for example, you see a nice table where we have Google, Apple, Bing, and the rest of the network down here, um, every single place where we're seeing data or syncing data. Uh, you can see how many publishers you have and some quick stats about your listings. You can also see this uh, on a per publisher basis. Um, but the really cool part is I can now click into a given publisher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into Google here. Uh, we now have a dedicated page in our uh, platform for every single publisher that we work with. Uh, so for example, this is the Google page. You can see you know, the name here, uh, description about the publisher. Um, you could also see affiliated publishers. So for example, by sending data to Google My Business, uh, we also send it to Waze. Uh, so you can see how these publishers are linked together. Um, you can see your listing status on Google, and you can see uh, all of your listings specific to this publisher and their statuses. Um, but what's great is for Google, Facebook, and Yelp, uh, there are a few more configuration options. So you'll see that I'm on the overview tab here. What I can do is I can switch over to the configuration tab. Uh, here is where I can see all the configurations I can make for Google My Business. Uh, we'll start with this field syncings and mapping settings. Um, what we can see here are these are a decent list of the fields that we do send to Google My Business. Um, and you can do a few things for each of these fields. Uh, for example, let's look at the business description field. Um, I've got two options here. Uh, I can turn the sync on or off. Um, so if I don't want to send this field to a publisher, uh, I now have full control over that. Um, we're going to be adding a few more fields here, um, but sometimes there can be issues sending certain fields, um, or if you just want to manage that data uh, on the publisher itself, uh, you now have full control to turn these fields on or off. 
uh, at will. Additionally, uh, you can change the default knowledge graph mapped field. So what this means is by default, uh, we send our business description field uh, to Google's business description field, which makes sense. Uh, but let's say you have a unique business description that you want to show on Google that's different from the rest of the publisher network. Um, all you have to do is choose another field here that you want to send. So let's say, for example, I've created a custom field called short description. Uh, I've populated this with different data that I want to send to Google. Uh, I can now select this, um, and now we will send uh, this field to Google. Uh, instead of the primary business description field. Um, this is pretty useful if you want to have different things like uh, a unique phone number. Um, we're going to add a website URL soon uh, or other things like business description uh, or photos. Uh, this allows you to have unique content on specific publishers that's different from the rest of the network. All right, so now we'll go back to the publishers tab here um, and I'll show one more new improvement. Uh, I'm going to take a look um, at a lesser known publisher, Brown Book, um, something that you'll see is that there's this little icon here. Uh, this is called a publisher alert. Um, we're now telling everyone uh, in the platform uh, when there are issues with publishers. So in the past, it was sort of a guessing game. You know, if, if a, a listing wasn't working, is it because uh, there's a problem with the X? Is it a problem with the publisher? Is it something else? Uh, now we're actually showing directly in the platform uh, if a publisher is experiencing an issue. Um, so for example, Brown Book, right now there are elevated error rates. So data syncing to this publisher has been temporarily disabled. Um, this is going to help quite a bit uh, with transparency into what's going on uh, and also prevent uh, support tickets from coming in. Um, so if someone's noticing that uh, their listing on Brown Book isn't working quite the way they expect, uh, they can now see directly in the platform uh, that there is an error here, uh, and that's something that our teams are working on, and they shouldn't worry. Uh, and once we do fix this problem, we'll go ahead and take this error down, uh, and you'll see that this publisher uh, has been uh, totally fixed. Um, so that's the Publishers tab. Uh, again, just to recap, you can now see all the places very clearly where we're syncing your data. Uh, we have unique pages in the platform for every single publisher. Um, and for select publishers, uh, you have specific configurations that you can make to give you more control. Um, something that we definitely like is if there are settings that you want to control on given publishers, uh, please let us know. Um, we want that feedback so we can continue to add to these pages uh, and make them as useful as possible. Uh, one more page I want to run through pretty quickly uh, is the new All Listings tab. Uh, this is very similar to our existing listings tab. Um, it's just with a revamped UI. Um, there's one new feature here that's pretty cool. Uh, we now have the ability to use saved filters um, that you create in Knowledge Graph. Uh, so if you're familiar with uh, creating a saved filter in Knowledge Graph that basically results in a group of entities, uh, you can now access those saved filters here uh, and apply them to the page. Uh, so this allows uh, this page to be a bit more usable uh, in terms of how you filter the data. Um, one other piece is we brought out um, the status detail column. So in the past, um, for example, uh, for this listing here, you can see it's not synced. Um, we had this little tool tip that would show uh, you have to hover over it to see what the problem is. Uh, now we've brought this problem out here uh, into the forefront so you can very clearly see uh, what is the problem with the listing uh, and what you need to do next to fix it. So for example, here, this is a linked account issue. Uh, I need to choose a new linked account. Um, so I would go ahead and, and fix that listing to fix it. So we want to make that process of fixing your listing as, as fast as possible so everything is syncing properly. Great. So that covers the new All Listings tab uh, and the new Publishers tab. Uh, I'm going to pass it uh, back to Dan. Thank you, Calvin. That was great. Um, and I will click the next slide here. So make sure to go to the Hitchhiker site to learn more information um, about the new listings features, as well as any other information from the Winter 21 release. There's a lot of great information there, um, so definitely go check it out. Before we get to the Q&A, um, I want to go over a couple last things. Um, so for upcoming webinars, we have one next week, um, next Wednesday at 11 a.m., Explore Answers Headless React. Um, which provides new tools for building custom answers front end experiences with features like visual autocomplete. Um, make sure to register and tune in um, to receive the recording, even if you can't join. Then we had two previous Winter 21 webinars, um, which are available on our, on our YouTube channel, the Consumer Auth webinar, as well as the Connectors workshop. So make sure to go check those out. And now we'll start the um, Q&A portion. 
So the first question um, I have is, is there a plan to be able to create um, specific configurations for more publishers? Uh, yes, there is. Um, we're planning on adding a, a bunch of new settings in the coming months. Um, a few of the ones that we're going to target first are uh, allowing the ability to change your uh, website URL to be unique for Google, um, and then the ability to uh, sync uh, name and categories. Um, you'll, you'll turn those off if you don't want to sync those. I know categories can cause uh, issues with re-verification on Google. Um, and then another one we want to get in the platform uh, are specific Facebook settings. So basically turning off or on the ability to leave comments uh, on different parts of a Facebook page. Um, but again, if there are other settings uh, that you guys uh, would like uh, to see, we're happy to add those and love that feedback. Great. And another one is, I love the new listings features. Um, are there any other UI features planned for the future or big things coming in terms of listings? Uh, yes, so we're, we're planning on adding more uh, to the listings UI in the future. Um, we're definitely thinking uh, about adding new publishers uh, in new verticals, um, so look out for that. Um, that's sort of all I can share at this point, uh, but definitely tune in to uh, later webinars and, and check out our release notes. Um, we have a bunch of new stuff coming. Another question is, is there a plan to be able to sync um, our products in Yex with the products section in Google My Business? Yeah, this is a, a very nuanced question. So um, there are two ways uh, to sync product data uh, to Google. Um, there is uh, what, what this asker is referring to, which is sort of the product catalog section within Google My Business. Uh, but then there's also a totally separate uh, product and set of APIs um, for Google Merchant Center. Um, that's sort of the... Uh, Set of, that's a, set, of, a set of products that are dedicated to syncing products uh, separately. Um, the product catalog is not available in the Google My Business API. Um, that is a, a UI only feature. Um, so it's not something that you can integrate with, with at this time. Um, I've personally asked Google to allow this. So maybe that will change in the future. Um, but as of now, uh, the right way to manage your product data at scale with Google is to use Google Merchant Center and its respective APIs. Um, we actually have a beta program going on with Google Merchant Center right now. Um, you should soon see sort of a splash page on our website uh, where you could reach out uh, for interest in that. Um, so more to that will come. Uh, but if you are interested in syncing your product data to Google using Google Merchant Center, um, definitely look for that page in the future uh, and reach out to us. Thanks, Calvin. And another question we got is the data at the top of the old overview screen was very powerful um, with kind of those four boxes at the top. Um, is there a way to easily access that information now? Yeah, that, that's a good one. So um, there were a, a few boxes, if, if you remember the, the old overview screen. Um, there were there's one for duplicates, uh, one for suggestions, and then one for listings issues. Um, for, for duplicates, the best way to see those is just to go to the, the duplicate suppression page. Um, that's an entire page dedicated to that functionality. Uh, so that would be the easiest way to see those. Um, and then for suggestions, um, a little while ago, uh, we combined the concept of publisher suggestions uh, with the concept of approvals and knowledge graph. Um, basically, those were just uh, two potential sources for changes to your data. Uh, in the knowledge graph and whether that was coming from your own users uh, or from a third party like Google or Facebook or any of the other publishers that support publisher suggestions, uh, it was seen as sort of a similar feature. Um, there, there's a ton more functionality on that page. So um, I highly recommend to go check that out. Um, you can do more than just accept or reject those suggestions. You can actually assign them to users or write comments or see history. Uh, so going to that page is definitely the most powerful way to do that. Um, and then for uh, seeing issues with your listings. Um, there's going to be more to come to this uh, in the next release or so. Um, I can't quite reveal what we're building yet, um, but there will be a really powerful way uh, to see um, all of the potential issues with your listings um, and tools to fix them. Great. And one more question is, um, is a search feature going to be added to either the all listings um, and or publisher details page to narrow down the, the listed results? Yeah, it's a good question on filtering. Um, so 
there, there should be a, a, a search functionality um, in terms of filtering on that page. Uh, we're definitely looking to add more filters um, to the page uh, in the coming weeks. Um, so expect to see uh, greater filtering options um, on the all listings page coming soon. Uh, and then in terms of specifically search for the, for the publisher page, um, you, you can definitely search for the publishers by name there. Um, and then we'll, we'll look to add those same filters to the publisher detail page. Great, and we just got um, one more question added in. Um, is there a potential to add um, functionality with DoorDash, Uber Eats, GoPuff, Instagram um, now or in the future? Yeah, good questions on the upcoming changes to the publisher network. So right now, um, Instagram is actually an affiliate publisher of Facebook. Uh, so by uh, having your listings uh, appear on Facebook, um, that data can be considered for Instagram. Um, and then in terms of the, the other publishers, I believe there was you know, DoorDash and Uber Eats in there. Um, we're constantly having conversations with, with companies like these uh, to try to add new publishers to our network. Uh, again, I can't share details on exactly uh, when or if those might be added to the network, um, but it's good to know that you are interested in those publishers, um, and then you know we're, we always try to add new ones. And Calvin, what's the best way, best way to um, request you know new publishers to be added to the publisher network? Yeah, so if, if you have requests, um, if you have ideas, uh, you know definitely uh, feel free to to reach out. Um, you know there there is a, a way to post on sort of our Hitchhiker platform. Um, if you'd like to add new functionality, uh, and that's the best way to let us know uh, what your priorities are and what you're thinking about, uh, and we can uh, ensure that our roadmap is targeting those requests. Awesome. Thanks, Calvin. Um, and thank you for everyone um, for joining. Hope you enjoyed the listings modernization webinar, um, you know, with all these great new features, and we have a lot um, planned in the future. So be sure to tune into our future events um, to stay, stay in the know. So Thank you all so much. You will receive this recording um, in your inbox um, and have a great rest of your day.